Thank you. Uh, so uh, my presentation is about virtual sprints. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, what are the sprints? Uh, so the sprints are something we have named our in-person events, and they are mostly in the Europe. And uh, mostly in the Europe because uh, I'd say most of the sprint attendees come from Europe and it, let's say it's not physical for them to, like it's not physical for, let's say 10 people to travel to India and it, it is much cheaper and economical uh, to, for traveling one person from India to Europe. So I'd say like most of the sprints are uh, happen in the bureau. Uh, they are important for community building and uh, in specific uh, soft general uh, development and advancement. And also they are quite fun because like uh, when like 12, 10 to 12 or more developers meet together, the fun is kind of Okay, this slide is not loading. Okay, so uh, this was various uh, virtual sprints. I found some really old photos. Uh, so there is Beam Sprint, there is Randa Sprint, there is over uh, 3D Frameworks, Plasma and Usability Sprint, and uh, one of the cool sprints. So we had the sprints where uh, people ranging from four to five to let's say 40 people met together at one place, stayed together for one week and uh, and worked on improving various things specific to one project or even just general in Delhi. So uh, uh, this sprint served us much better for um, this many years, but uh, but uh, this year the main problem which affected the whole sprints and in-person events is COVID-19, and due to that, uh, in-person meetings were no longer feasible, and it was no longer possible to have, let's say, five to ten people get together or like for people living outside of Europe, it was not even possible to travel to Europe. So, um, the question which comes is, uh, we needed to adapt uh, to the situation, we needed to follow the social distancing rules, we needed to follow the travel restrictions, and in general, the whole in-person sprints were impossible. Like. Uh, Lots of companies also had to switch to remote first for during the past six to seven months. Uh, so we also had to adapt to the situation. So the question is, is it a bad thing that this happened uh, in terms of for our sprints? Uh, in my opinion, the we also learned a totally new way of uh, getting together and it's a virtual sprints. Uh, instead of uh, being in-person events, uh, we, this, this would be fully online event. Uh, and since it's a fully online, we, we don't need to travel. So it's a pretty much global. Like I don't really need visa to attend the online conference or an online meeting. Uh, and we also have reduced travel costs and by extension also reduced carbon footprint on Mayport by traveling during the sprints. Uh, so uh, there were uh, so far like three different sprints happened which were fully virtual. Uh, one of them is scale beam sprint, another is plasma mobile mini sprint and another and then there is plasma sprint as well. Um, so, KDPM sprint was 
for one weekend. It was fully IRC meetings and uh, they had very specific topics decided before uh, beforehand and it was a replacement for in-person and annual sprints they have like every year. Uh, another sprint which we decided out of the blue was uh, that, uh, was Pulse Mobile virtual sprint. So since like fully fully lockdown was in place, we decided that we should uh, host this virtual sprint. Uh, we uh, had the sprint on one of the first test instruments for Academy. Uh, thanks to Kenny for that. Um, it was, uh, it had single track of discussion. Uh, we decided topics on first day and we also hosted online workshops uh, during that sprint. Another sprint was Plasma Virtual Sprint. Uh, it also happened on Big Blue Button Room. Uh, also had a single track, but it was slightly more structured than the Plasma Virtual Sprint. Plasma Virtual Sprint was more like uh, decide topic as you go and uh, work on those topics, but uh, Plasma Sprint was much more structured. We had like a schedule for the whole sprint and it was much more structured compared to Plasma Mobile Sprint because we learned how to do this better. Uh, and so the question is like how to organize this virtual sprint. So from my experience, I'd say you need to decide on schedule and schedule and time slots which work for most of the team members like depending on where they live uh, you need to decide on clear agenda for the discussion uh, the on-spot discussions does not really help uh, with the uh, uh, in the virtual sprints and also we need to allocate probably half an hour or hour for social or off-topic chat because those areas were also part of in-person chat, uh, in-person events. So it's good to have that uh, uh, as part of your event. And also you need to announce the event in advance, like we announced Plasma Mobile Sprint like two days in advance and that did not really actually work that well. But yeah, you also need to announce event in advance. Uh, for technical side of uh, uh, for this, uh, we have infrastructure in place for organizing large virtual events, which is meet.kd.org. Uh, we have good, um, also to attend this, you need good audio video equipment because uh, that makes experience much smoother. And also you need reasonable internet connections. And if you are interested in organizing one of such virtual sprints or event, you need feel free to contact to me or uh, academy team about that and we will be happy to help help for that and that's it uh, i thought i guess we don't have time for questions but if you have any questions feel free to send it to me and i will be happy to answer